Alright Alphas, what's going on? Welcome to another Life Light series. This is actually my life fitness and I thought it was a unique time for me to actually talk to you about snow shoveling and how it can help you with your fitness. Alright, so we all know that being stuck inside sometimes can really damper you in being able to do your workouts, right? You're just like, oh, what do I do? Uh, or sometimes you're just like, so can somebody like order a pizza or something? Watch some Netflix? Cause I don't have nothing to do. No. Or sometimes you're just like, man, I just wish I could work out. But look, if there's snow on the ground, there's so much you could do. Let me share with you some things that I learned. When shoveling snow, all right, first thing you gotta make sure you do is you get an ergon ergonomic shovel, all right? It should be lightweight, plastic, sturdy, should have a metal, metal groove at the top, all right? And it should also be ergonomic enough for you to be able to properly shovel. You know, holding the shovel like this or holding it like this, you should be able to shovel. The shovel should be able to reach you no lower than your belly button, but close to your solar plex, all right? Now, you got to make sure that you warm up, because if you don't warm up, let me tell you what's going to happen to you. You're going to put increased stress on your heart that you don't need. Whether you're healthy or unhealthy, you don't need that kind of stress on your heart. So you should either go for a brisk walk. Do some stretches in the house, do some push-ups and sit-ups, or do some jump rope or jumping jacks. Get your heart moving before you go outside in the cold. Because several things are going to happen to you, alright? You're going to come out in the cold and you're going to go into body shock. Especially if you're not layered up. So you got to make sure you're layered up. You... Second thing that's going to happen to you is your blood vessels are going to shrink a little bit because it's cold, they're gonna restrict, all right? And if you're not a healthy person, meaning you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, clogged arteries, you're gonna suffer the most. And it's heart attack snow. Anything over a certain amount of inches is heart attack snow. I'm not sure exactly how many inches that is, but you need to be careful when there's two feet of snow, just like this out here, all right? You gotta take many breaks, and you gotta listen to your body. All right, stress, stretching is key, especially for your back and your knees and your elbows and your joints because you're going to be doing a lot of strenuous exercise. You're going to be doing this for a while. So, 60 minutes of shoveling snow consistently. Not shoveling snow like this. But shoveling snow consistently. Just consistently shoving snow. Alright? When you do that, you'll burn anywhere between 300 to 500 calories per hour. And usually if you have a good size... Sorry. And usually if you have a good size backyard with driveway and a good size front yard, it's going to take you at least one to two hours. So you can burn anywhere between... 300 to 600 all the way from 500 to a thousand calories just by doing this alone Make sure you eat breakfast or make sure you eat At least an hour before you go out. Don't eat 15 minutes. Don't eat one minute Don't eat prior to going out, but have something in your system Before you go out and make sure that you fully digested it and don't eat something healthy. I mean healthy and don't eat something heavy all right so Here's the other thing. There are many different exercises you can actually do if you want to work out properly. Well, not properly, because you shoveling snow is going to give you a workout in itself, a cardio workout. But if you wanted to actually do some kind of workouts that are going to be um, just like lifting weights, there are several things you can do. You can do something called a shovel squat, which is purely just getting in squat form. You shovel down with your knees just like you're squatting and you come up just like a squat. Go down and you come up just like a squat. Or you can get rid of the snow, get back in position, go down, shovel, and come back up in squat form. 
The other thing you can do is called a shovel deadlift, which you get in deadlift position, right? You go down the shovel and you come up from a deadlift. Go down the shovel and you come up in a, from a deadlift. The other thing you can do is twist. So you can grab some snow right here and do some ab twists. Especially if you got a good load on one side. Just do ab twists. Then you can switch the load to the other side. And just do some ab twists there like that too. Right? Other thing you can do is some up and overs. Where you literally get a whole bunch of snow. And you go over like that. So that's a couple workouts you can do. And I'm sure if you're creative enough, you can find several ways to have fun. Several ways to work out. Several ways to do lots of things when it comes to the snow. Now, of course, when you're actually shoveling a lot of snow at once, it's going to be a lot of you on your back. So just pay attention to your back. Your um, forearms, your triceps and biceps may start to fatigue depending on what kind of thrower you were. Whether you throw forward, you throw backwards, or you throw sideways, you're using different muscles for that. So, look, this isn't a traditional life light, life fitness series video, but with the snow, I figured I'd take advantage. So look guys, I need to finish up this snow. I love y'all, hope y'all got some information. Holla at you. This still hasn't come yet? No, I haven't gotten any notification. Uh, still wait. Oh, so is that package my birthday present? No, it isn't. Are you sure about that? Yes, sir. Am I too for 